this demo video, we will talk about the Automation Hub Custom Connector, how to import it and then use it for a simple workflow in Studio Web. So let's start by importing the, the connector. So to do that, you need to uh, access the integration service connector builder and click on create new connector. Once you're here, you want to select from local file and search for the connector after the automation hub connector, which you downloaded from the documentation page. I have mine right here and uh, I can click continue. All right, and now I have the connector imported. I can uh, uh, select uh, the endpoints that I want you to, to see. I can also edit them uh, after after I import. Uh, I can uh, have here my application name. I can uh, modify that as, uh, as well. And I can click create. After the connector is imported, uh, you'll see that everything is uh, is uh, set up uh, in terms of the, the endpoints and the authentication. We can actually test the authentication right now by adding a connection. So I'm adding a connection. I need here my open API key, which is test, open API off, uh, which is open API token and my authorization. So exactly the credentials that you need from um, uh, from automation uh, uh, hub for the automation hub API. I'm actually going to grab a token right now for the API. And here, I'll just take this one go back to the connector builder to this page and click connect. All right, so now we're connected um, and I can hit publish for this uh, for this connector, All right? So, in a second, here we go. Once the connection, the connector is published, we will be able to um, uh, to use it in Studio Web. So right now it, the connector is published. We can go into uh, Studio Web. Let's create a new project. Let's call it Demo Automation Hub Connector. All right, this is how the each connect custom connector works right so we want to start this manually now but you can do uh, you can use any any type of trigger in in studio web so the first thing i'll do is uh i want to uh, um, i want to get uh, the users that are on a certain um business unit in automation hub and i want to send them uh, an email saying that they are now uh, it approvers in automation hub so i change their role so if i go to automation hub uh the the one that i'm interested in is product and engineering to apply so i have these two users in here right uh that i'm uh, that i'm targeting so i want to send these two uh emails so what, what i'm going to do is trigger the get users api get exactly these two users for this business unit and then send uh an email for each one of them so to do that i need uh to use the list all the records for from the connector builder um uh from the connector builder activity um this uh, this contains um, no once you select this you, you need to configure and once you select the connector for automation hub um the, the automation hub custom connector um we uh, will be able to see also the get users endpoint right so i haven't set uh, i haven't uh, set up a connection yet so i can click on connect now all right, I need again my bear token, which I will fetch again from here. And now I am connected. I can go back here. I have a connection in place and I want first to get all my users. All right, so once I click get users, uh, let's set up a max records of 20. Don't have that many in here and i'm interested in getting the users that have the business unit um 
product and engineering too. So this guy. And so I'm interested in getting these users. And then this is the filter that I'm using in the API. And then I want to send, uh, save them into uh, uh, into a variable. So I'll say save as variable. Uh, let's say all product users. Okay. And then first thing I want to do is also uh, let's first do a right line. Do a right line uh, using the variable that I just created. I'll just say click use variables, all product users, and I actually want to say uh, the item will be the uh, user email. This guy. Right, so as you can see, um, once you got, um, you know, one, once uh, the um, uh, the endpoint uh, will be will be triggered, you'll see that the um, all the entities in in Studio are automatically populated from that specific endpoint. So you saw their user email, user first name, last name, and so on. So th those are uh, properties from the API. So what happened here is that uh, once once I selected current user's email, uh, I automatically got a for each to that uh, actually uh, goes through all product users. So the uh, the list that I have in here, and writes a line, uh, an individual line for current users at email. So what I want to do here is actually uh, let me open the expression editor and I have uh, uh, the email is and then I'll say plus and then right so this is my uh, uh this is uh, the the text that I want to be um uh, that I want uh, as output in the console for each of the email but I want also to send uh the emails to these uh, to these two users right so in the same for each I want to uh, send an email and I'll use the Outlook um, Office 365 um, activity for that. It just takes a while to uh, install and then we'll have to also configure it with my email address. Cool, so now we have it configured. Uh, it automatically picked up from the existing connection because I had the existing connection It automatically picked up the, my uh, my email. And what I want to do is uh, I actually want to pick up from the expression editor this guy. So I want to send to uh, the current user email oh, like that use variable. So current user thing. Uh, email. All right, so the current user user email. So this is what I want to uh, use. All right. So um, I'll send uh, I'll send an email to uh, each of the, the uh, each of the um, the entries that I will get from the response from the API. Um, I want to add the subject like uh, your new role in automation hub is now an now idea approver. It's just an example. We can add here also body. I have uh, here a body as an example and you can actually add uh also um you yeah, course you can format the the body as you want like make it make it bold and uh you can also use control space so that you can for example add um a variable so we'll just use like the first name uh as the variable so you have users first name in the current users so array so i'll just use this Right, so uh, now it will pick up my uh, uh, the the first name of my user, 
uh, let's add an extra spacing in uh, in here and maybe just add another bolt in here all right that looks tidy enough um we don't want this to be saved as draft we want this to be sent and we don't have any attachments to it so it's just a simple email so just to recap we're using uh, the automation hub connector to get users. So um, get get the users uh, from from automation hub. We're having a filter. We have uh, filters on the uh, business unit here. So we add the product and engineering too, and we have the output of all product users. Um, after the, after that, we did the for each, and we want to first write the line. The the email is. Uh, uh, the the user's email, and then we are using the Outlook uh, 365 activity to send an email to each of the users that we identified. Right. So, uh, with that being said, let's run the activity, and then we'll check also the emails that the users have received. All right. The project is getting built. We have the first email, the second email, and now it's uh, ended. And now if we check here, we'll see that we have um, we have uh, uh, an email received. Your new role in Automation Hub is now idea approver. And we have also the variable, my first name from Automation Hub was picked up and used in the um, uh, in the email body. And so that's a very simple way to use the Automation Hub custom connector uh, with uh, within Studio Web. Thank you for watching.